This is that chapter 12 pre-class assignment tutorial question 1. Use the contingent table to the right to complete parts A through C below. Part A, find the expected frequency for each cell. To calculate the expected frequency for the cell A1, what we're going to do is we're going to take the column A total, which is 75, and then we're going to take the row 1 total, which is 75 as well. And we're going to times them together, and then we're going to divide it by the, the 125, the total amount and we're going to get 45 for cell A1. For cell B1, we're going to take the row 1 total again, which is 75, and then we're going to take the column B total, which is 50. We times them together, and then we divide it by the total of 125, and then we're going to get 30. And basically, we do it for all the cell. Part B, compare the observed and expected frequency for each cell. The answer for this question is A, the totals for the observed and expected frequency are the same. We can see that both have 75 and 50 for A and B respectively, and both have 75 and 50 for 1 and 2 respectively as well, and the total for both are 125. Part C, compute chi-square statistic. Is it significant at the alpha equals to 0 0.025? And in this question, our null hypothesis is that pi 1 equals to pi 2, and our alternate hypothesis is that pi 1 does not equal to pi 2. So we're, the answer for part C is A, and then next we need to calculate the chi-square statistics. And the formula for chi-square statistic is equal to the sum of the observed frequency minus expected frequency, and we square that, and then afterward we divide it by the expected frequency. So FO is the observed frequency, FE is the expected frequency. Next we can plug the number into the formula. So we have 42 minus 45 square divided by 45 plus 33 minus 30 square divided by 30 and so on. And if we calculate that, we're going to get chi square equals to 1.25.